My name is Art Clifton, president of the Newburgh Teachers Association. Tomorrow, the negotiating team of the Newburgh Teachers Association will present the contract proposal which we negotiated with the district town members. And we will answer their questions and concerns. We'll then be put to a vote on Tuesday, May 7th, in schools, and it is my sincere hope that it is ratified. We will not know until the following week when absentee votes are returned. I would like to personally thank all of the teachers, teaching assistants, administrators, parents, and students of the three schools that were in danger of closure. It was very encouraging to hear the passion that was voiced through the educational programs in their buildings and the individual experiences shared and the concerns from those that spoke their schools. I was greatly impressed by the tenor of those that spoke, their tacit acknowledgement that there were two other schools that might face closure, and that the people from those schools were in a very similar place. There was no blaming one school for another, and the level of discourse was polite and extraordinarily respectful. I congratulate all of those that spoke. The NCA worked out a proposal with the district that includes a retirement incentive and a four-year contract. If this is ratified, it will save jobs. If enough teachers take the retirement incentive, then the jobs of some of our young work members will be more secure. Closing the school would also have increased class sizes throughout the district. If ratified, this won't happen, and we will also keep full day kindergarten. But this only helps for this coming year. We can't keep facing this year from year. I call on all of those who spoke so valiantly for their three schools to join with teachers and administrators and board of education members and other community people to fight for public education. We need parents to join us, to lobby our state representatives, especially the state senators, to increase funding for our schools. We should not be paying a gap elimination tax. Mandates from Albany should be appropriately funded. This will not change unless we all can work together and actively fight for our schools in Albany. I recently heard that the state senator, who has refused to meet with teacher groups, jumped at the chance to meet with parents from Valley Center. There is a lot of power that parents and students have with our local politicians. We need to use that. We need to promote the appropriate funding for public education and hold politicians accountable. Parents can do just that. We need to end excessive high stakes tests that act to deny children a comprehensive education. We must keep up the struggle. Saving a school for this year is not enough. We need to work together to help all of our schools across the state. June 8th, there will be a rally in Albany for public education. People from all over will be there to support education. We need to encourage our parents to be there as well and speak truth to power. I will be there. I hope that many